Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Timmy Banjo. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my updates on using apple cider vinegar for more than a year. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stay tuned and keep on watching. welcome once again welcome welcome if it's your first time here like i said earlier please subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a thumbs up everything i mentioned is absolutely free um i'm going to give you an update about my whole body after using apple cider vinegar for more than a year consistently what i always hammer on this channel consistently <laughs> consistency in everything you do if you're trying to see a change so I filmed a video about apple cider vinegar last year i'll leave a card here that's like the first one i did um and i showed recipes on how to make you know drinks with apple cider vinegar your tea or water your coffee etc so make sure you do check that out so today i'm going to be telling you guys how my body has improved how i'm able to maintain my weight loss how i'm able to maintain this body after one year using apple cider vinegar and i don't know in this video i might be able to show you another recipe again just to show you the amount or quantity i am using since everything has changed so first things first i noticed that my appetite is very controlled i'm not always eating like i shouldn't be eating and i have stopped the keto diet since like what it's almost seven or eight months the last time i had the keto diet was in january um i haven't done keto since then and i still am able to maintain my weight goal or my weight loss so when i take the apple cider vinegar my appetite is controlled it is maintained i'm not always hungry as i used to be hungry you know it also helps my metabolism my metabolism is very very good nowadays i found that i found i find out that i'm not always as bloated as before when i used to eat normal food and i mean normal food by eating you know carbs and other things i used to eat before keto because on keto i'm hardly bloated but once i switch to carbs i get bloated but with the apple cider vinegar i'm hardly bloated my metabolism is peak um, once I eat, I feel full and I feel full until it is time to have my next meal. I do not snack in between and I notice that it's only when I'm hungry I reach out to eat something and that has really helped a lot because I also tend to fast intermittently and once I'm done for the day, once I'm done eating for the day, I have teas, I have water, and I always put apple cider vinegar inside it. So before I go to the gym, I go to the gym around 6 p.m. in the evening. I have a bottle of water. Let me show you guys my bottle of water. So this is still from last night from the gym. I had this at my bedside because I couldn't finish it last night. So probably when I wake up in the middle of the night, I'll just drink this. But it didn't happen like that. So there's apple cider vinegar inside this. I carry this bottle to the gym this is about 1.5 liter and the quantity of apple cider or vinegar i put inside here i will show you guys towards the end of the video so i carry this to the gym i drink this throughout and once i get back home i go straight to bed because i fast i fast intermittently and this doesn't break your fast water doesn't break your fast apple cider vinegar does not break your fast also also aside the fact that i work out my belly fat has remained the same <laughs> although it's supposed to try and reduce but thankfully it hasn't increased even though sometimes i fall short of my diet like i eat some things i'm not meant to eat like chocolate and biscuit here and there and some cake and i noticed that my my belly fat is still looking you know moderate i haven't my belly hasn't grown bigger than it's meant to be okay <laughs> but there's still a little bit of fat there that i won't mind getting rid of so that still remains so it controls my belly fat also it hasn't made me you know become wider or whatnot also with my waistline because my waistline i always measure it it still remains the same 32 inches even though i'm we're trying to move towards you know the 20s even if it is 29 mm? so my waist still remains the same so apple cider also has um anti-aging 
what nutrients inside it or components inside it with which helps with your aging process and makes you look younger so if you can tell okay I'm not trying to say if you want to look younger, you should just start drinking it anyhow. No, you shouldn't do that. Just try to take it moderately and consistently. That's the most important one. You cannot finish a whole bottle in one day. It shouldn't happen like that. So apple cider vinegar has anti-aging components inside it, which helps with your aging process. Also with blood sugar, it helps to regulate your blood sugar when i was on keto diet my blood sugar was really low and that's because i wasn't having carbs i wasn't having sugar which is very which was very good for me especially if a person is diabetic or so keto diet is like the go-to diet or low carb diet so my blood sugar was low and when i got back on my low carb diet like when i had carbohydrates and so on and so forth i noticed that my blood sugar was still fine was still okay but not as low as when i was on a keto diet so yeah my blood sugar is, is always regulated and it keeps it in check also with my hair and nails i cannot emphasize a lot my hair has grown inches well not significantly but it has improved the volume the texture the length of my hair has reduced and i've i've not even used it externally only internally but some people use apple cider vinegar um externally like for dandruff on their hair for hair improvement to improve the texture and so on and those are the people who can ingest it probably because of the smell but i have always been ingesting it and my hair nails are looking good my nail my hair you know has improved with the length texture volume etc so i'm two bottles down although this is almost done i still have one and um, some you know some content inside this so hopefully by the end of this year i'll be done with two bottles so i can say i've used one bottle for like one and a half year or I, I don't even know i didn't calculate it so this is my progress on the apple cider vinegar one year down two bottles down so we're going to move over to the dining table now i will show you how i make my water for the gym because i've done tea before i've done detox water in a video i left in the card at the beginning of this video please make sure you check that out so i'm going to take my apple cider vinegar now and show you guys how i just make water that i drink especially with the quantity some people always mistake the quantity they think the more you use it the higher your um changes or the higher the results you get no you have to use it consistently than you know increasing the quantity you are using also if you take too much of apple cider vinegar it can cause indigestion or indigestion it can cause um heartburn yeah it has happened to me before at that time i didn't know the quantity or amount i was meant to be taking you know it's just like salt you cannot because you want your food to taste nice you cannot pour a lot of salt inside it depends on it has to do with the quantity of what you're cooking and you know the quantity of salt you put inside so let's move over to the dining table So I still have leftover of last night's water. I'm just going to continue making today's water or my detox water. Not really a detox water, but today's water with the remnants. So for today, I'm adding lemon slices. It's not compulsory you add lemon slices. I mean, you're good to go with just water and apple cider vinegar, drops of it. But for the purpose of this video, I'm adding two lemon slices. You can also add um, mint leaves if you have mint leaves. You can add um, cucumber if you have cu some cubes. You can add that. So I added three slices of lemon inside here. So it depends on the amount of water I use before I can add my apple cider vinegar. So I like to make sure it is at a particular quantity before I add my. ACV. So 
so this here is more than one liter of water this is about 1.250 liters of water and i'm going to shake this properly because it has settlements underneath here and for you to know the right apple cider to use make sure you get the one that writes with the mother you can get any other um, brand but i would advise you get the brags or brag rather so this is the apple cider vinegar i use make sure you shake it properly so for about one point um one to fifty liters of water this is the amount of upside everything i'm going to be using it's going to be half of this cover you don't need a lot so this is fine this is perfect this is about half a cover of my apple cider vinegar is even more than half a cover but this is fine and this is what i'm going to be adding to my water so you shake properly and you're good to go so you can just leave this let everything here just diffuse and marry each other so that's it for my gym water this is what i'll take to the gym later on today all right guys so that is how i make my gym water with the quantity of um, apple cider vinegar i made sure i had to show you guys this video because some people say oh i use apple cider vinegar and it makes my you know makes me have heart burn or it makes my stomach kind of bloated or some sort and i thought that you know it is important i show you guys how to use it once again because ever since i knew how to you know calculate the measurements and notice that it's not about putting in a lot i said okay let me show you guys how to do it so that brings us to the end of this video remember you can check out other recipes i have with the apple cider vinegar in the video i linked up somewhere in the beginning of this video if not i'm going to leave a link again in the um, description box if you have any questions for me feel free to ask them and if you have any video ideas for me please make sure you mention them in the comment section down below i'll be sure to check them out guys so thank you so much for watching this video i hope i have been able to you know show you guys how apple cider vinegar has helped me and has helped me maintain my weight loss my my weight goal whatsoever it is thank you so much for stopping by i would love to see you in that next one you're about to click on bye